Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest with me, Jimmy Loveless. Now this is just one of those famous videos where I just go and level. As you can see it shouldn't be too difficult. And hopefully it won't be as arduous a task as it was last time. We don't have to worry about arrows or anything. Any ammo because we both have weapons. Ooh, dragons. Also known as Blazia. Burned. Nice critical. So how far are we off to the next level? I always say that, but okay, one more battle. Let's just keep our finger on A. Technically it's B, but I don't know what it was in the original game. Or on the original controller, should I say. Yeah, we can't quite one hit them yet. Hopefully, after this battle, we will. Yep, Jimmy leveled up. And I bet you it's uh, 10 more EXP until the next level from here. Spell. Cure. That will do for now. Seven more battles in this battlefield. Uh, Jimmy, you attack that and you attack that. Critical hit, nice. Yeah, we still can't one hit the enemies. That's rather annoying. At least I don't have to keep an eye on the time on this sort of video. Burned again. Close to defeating the enemy. There we go. Four more to go, see we're getting through this quite quickly. Let's try not to get burned this time. Let's concentrate a bit more. Uh, you attacked that. So you might wake up next time. Or not. At least he's not actually doing damage. Those are dragons. Claw and fire. Yeah, I hope so. That's a fair bit of damage. Nothing we can't handle. And you finish him off. Thank you, Jimmy. Yeah, I don't think it'll be that long until we level. Just seems like a lot. Okay, you attack that, and then you attack that. Claw and claw again. Claw, I don't mind. One more to go. Wonder what we'll win. Critical, nice. We won. Thunder, nice. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, let's 
Then it's what? Have you got a life? Yeah, I thought you did. To be honest, it's been a few days since I've actually played but shh, no one will know. I'm using an axe because it's more effective against trees. That's the only reason. Except when it misses. Oh, a Morning Star Crisis is an axe. Okay, good to know. I have a feeling they might be weak against axe. Can I at least try. Not weak, but it does more damage it looks like. Whoa, that was a lot of damage. Oh no. Oh good. Hmm, so it's the axe more than the status. No, that's not what we want, is it? it's weapons. No, the axe does more than the... So, oh yeah, because we got two new weapons last time, didn't we? I'm sorry, I can only remember getting the sword in the ice pyramid. Or did we get the axe in the... See, this is, it. this is how long since I played. Can you remember where we got our weapons? Even though this will be uploaded on the same day as previous video. But you're all wondering why I was using the sword. Now you know. Over a thousand damage on a normal attack. Pretty good. Unless it was a critical and I didn't realise. Or I don't think it was. Uh, I don't think it really matters who we attack here. No, it looks like a normal attack. Oh no, I hate poison. Just defeat it and then get out of the battle. Five more to go. Spell, heal, cure everyone. And get straight back into the next battle. Strike first, nice. You better not miss two. Nah, good. And we should defeat it as long as we don't miss. Over 700 experience points, which is nice. Unexpected attack. Okay. Three more to go. Thankfully, as we continue on, the battles will become easier because I'm going backwards. No, really, I should be doing the first battles and then the last battles, but it doesn't matter. They're not difficult ones. Was that 2.7 thousand? Wow. Straight into the next one. Missed. We keep missing a lot, don't we? It's not good. He's just prancing out. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't even funny, was it? One more to go. I really didn't expect to get through these so quickly. Okay, one gold. I suppose we could live with that. Oh, wow, that was quick. Is it only going to be like one or two enemies per battle here? Oh, was it an unexpected attack? I wasn't even concentrating. You don't really need to with these sorts of battles, leveling up and grinding. Mm. 
So many trees. Okay, next one. Now, we're probably spending more time out in the field than we are in the battle. Yeah, so like one tree per battle. Or plant banners, they're called. Even if we miss, we still got the other Jimmy to back up. Because at the moment, I think Ruben's faster. Yeah. Three more to go. Seriously, can't believe how quickly we're getting through these. I know we're only getting like 250 experience per battle, but oh well. One more battle to go. Be nice to win a bit more armor. Don't know why I just feel like we need it. More than we would a weapon or a spell. Even though I'm pretty sure there is another spell we're getting, which is the exit spell. No experience. Well, that's not too bad then, it's better than gold. See, so you level it up really quickly. And I know, one sting rat. No, to be fair, we need 10 of the. Uh, more battles to actually get 2,000, mm. roughly. Okay, by the end of this battlefield we should have leveled up. Then we'll only need a couple more levels mm. until we get to uh, Ruben's level. not even taking any damage. Strike first. So in theory there we would have had four chances to actually hit it. Halfway through this battlefield. They look like pink hedgehogs. I like pink. Sonic's pretty cool. It's been ages since I played Sonic. I mean, I know it might be cliche. Level up, nice. But. There's some old games that you just can't beat. Uh, you attack that, that's a new enemy, Jelly. Okay, maybe we saw it last video, there's a new one to this one. Do we win, what do we win, what do we win, what do we win? Gemini Crest. Okay, makes it easier getting around the map, I suppose. But yeah, there's just a charm to these old games that just... You can't get in a new game, really. I mean, most people think it ended in the 90s with the old games, but... Because I'm still fairly young, I think it ended in the mm. early noughties. Because mm. PlayStation 2, stuff like Grand Theft Auto, the 3D ones, and... What? No, 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 I didn't mean to do that. And stuff like... Well, really, PlayStation 1 really had it. Most of the games that were a bit nostalgic, like Final Fantasy 7, 8, and 9. Well, I never played 8 or 9 when I was young. 
I only ever played seven. I almost did once because I saw it in the local game store. And it was like 15, 20 quid or something. I'm talking about English money by the way. Or British pounds. And I saw it and I was like, well I could get this. Or I could get something for my Xbox because I had an Xbox and Playstation at the time. And I was like, hmm. And then, of course, I got something for the Xbox because it was cheaper, that's just the way I was. Oh, I still remember the first time I played Final Fantasy VII. All those many years ago. He hit me! I never actually completed it the first time I went through it, though. I got, like, just past the first disc. Without ruining too much, I got to the Materia Keeper. That's all I say, I just couldn't get past him. And looking back now, it wasn't even a tricky boss, was it? I just... I don't know. I was low health. I didn't have any tents or any potions. Tents being what you used to hear of in Final Fantasy VII. I think they brought it back from 9, I don't think they had it in 8. Thinking about it, I haven't actually properly played 8. I've watched the Let's Play of it, of course, so if I ever do do it myself on this channel, it won't be for a blind Let's Play. Though I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind doing a blind Let's Play. I've been trying to find a game which I haven't played before, which would be good as one, but can't quite think of it yet. It's got to be oldish for my computer to play it. Because <laughs> I have a fast computer, but I don't really have a gaming computer, if that makes any sense. How many enemies are left? No, oh, <laughs> we've finished. I mean, only one gold. Yeah, so I'm going to have to find an old PC game or something. But like I was saying, the nostalgia factor really, it didn't end in the 90s, it ended in the early noughties, so last decade, unless you're watching this after 2020, in which case, wow, I'm not concentrating properly, I'm too busy talking to you lot. Yeah, like, like Morrowind, my favourite game ever. In the Elder Scrolls series, it's number three. And I have a lot of memories attached to it. Maybe it isn't just because the game is good, but just because... I used to watch my brother play it. Uh, I used to just play it myself when I eventually got it. Because I can remember watching my brother play it for like months, it felt like. And uh, him and his friend was talking about it. Oh. No, I'm just mm. looking at this enemy. I expected him to be harder than that. And they were talking about all this stuff and I didn't understand because I never played the game. But the game sounded pretty cool and I was like, I want to play it, I want to play it. And then when he completed it, he gave me his copy. That was nice of him. I think it was for a Christmas present or something. Uh, I'm just looking... Uh, it's not too many experience points to go. Strike first, yes, because we really need four strikes to kill him, don't we? And yeah, Marwin. It's probably the last game I have nostalgic value for what else? Final Fantasy 7, like I said, I do. Uh, you do? Yeah, you attack that and you attack that. Because... Again, I played it years ago. Even though it hasn't been out too long, I think 15 years last year. And... I just remember going through it and just thinking, wow, this is really good. And I didn't know it was going to be so good. 
game boy. Now there's a, a lot of games like... Is it just me or did the music go a bit funny there? Yeah, never mind. But yeah, Game Boy, there's a lot of games there that have nostalgic value for me. Considering it was... Yeah, I guess it was my first games console. The Game Boy Color. Hmm. I never really thought about it before, but yeah. My first game ever, as far as I can remember, was Pokemon Blue. Really fun game. I mean, if you actually look at it properly, it's not massively good if you actually look at it, but it's a lot of fun, which makes it good if you catch my drift. It's probably don't, I'm probably confused too. Yeah, I can remember picking a squirtle and going through it until the end and leveling it to a hundred. Those were the days. Link's Awakening. Now there's another game that I played years ago. I knew we got the spell exit from one of these. I thought it was this one here, but clearly I was wrong. I don't know what we get in this one then, apart from crabs. There we go. Yeah, Link's Awakening, now there's a game. Well, obviously, it is a game, but... Yeah, there was... My first and... I think only Zelda game I've properly played. I think a lot of people could say that, because... I think it's the only one on the Game Boy. I know there was... I think there's a couple on DS or something, but... That's for the new generation to play around with. I lost interest in Nintendo as soon as it brought the Wii out. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad console, because it is. Again, it's fun, but it's just... It doesn't feel very serious, and... I mean, computer games can be serious. I mean, if you're watching this channel, or at least... A fan of games, I would hope. That you'd be watching it just for me. So if you are, thanks. The NES, no. I had the NES in the snares when I was young. Because I can remember playing Super Mario World. I can also remember playing Mega Man years and years ago. I was never very good at it. Two more to go. I think that's it for these battlefields. One more to go. Let's see what we get from this battlefield. Hopefully an accessory, I think. That's my guess. Mm. We got a... Experience points, okay. We still got a lot more to go to the next level. I think that's it, actually. I suppose we should level up to 23. Can we go through here? Where's the nearest enemies? Well, here's the nearest one. Might be worth going into this place over here. No, we can't go in it anymore. Uh, this is just the only place we can go then. Should be able to one hit them. 
How much experience do we get? Anywhere else we can level. Yeah, I'm going to take a look at this place. Because there's enemies near the entrance. So many experience we get from it. level up here. Didn't take us too long. of hail spells and poisons and stuff so it shouldn't be too tricky. Four hundred on average per battle. Plus, because he's a quite low level, we get a lot of strike firsts. We miss. Had a feeling we missed there, that wasn't good. There'll be a place further on that we'll level next time. Strike first, okay. I mean, to be fair, we're at 9,000 now, we're at 7,000, so it's going pretty quickly. else to say at the moment that I can think of. Uh, if you see adverts on my previous videos that's because on Minecraft specifically it might happen on Oblivion. It's the first episode to be uploaded with this video so that should be cool for all you peeps. It's because of the music in it, because I put custom music in YouTube, noticed that it was copyrighted and all that. But don't worry, I haven't gotten any trouble and I can still upload videos that are over an hour, as you can see by this one. Unless I get in trouble in the future, by I it. I will be very careful with what I upload. Mm. 
Did we get a strike first? I thought we did, yeah. to the enemy, good good. Can't carry any more explosives so going through that box would be useless. I have a horrible feeling it's gonna be like over 20,000 experience points for the next level. That won't be too bad I suppose. Okay, 5,000 left. Think of any games I could find. Let's play. Put it in the comment or the comment section below. I will take a look at a maybe trade or something for it. We'll see what type of game it is. I can do almost any game, really. I suppose. I mean, nothing with stealth. I'm bad at stealth. Well, it's not that I'm bad at it exactly, I just don't like it. We got rid of all the battlefields. Yeah, I think it's level 41 that you can get up to. Why it stops at 41, I don't know. Well, I kind of do because. That's the most experience you can get in this game without if you just without leveling basically. Mm. Mm. Because the monsters reset every time you go into a dungeon as you can see. Mm. I like to level. Far away now. Mm. 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 Defeated the enemy. Less than two thousand points to go now. Oh, only two enemies. Disappointing, we'll only get like 300 experience for that then. Not even that, 250. Mm. 
So I needed a couple more. And then I'll go back to the cave or whatever. Oh, the mine, I think it's called. And then we'll be ready to take on all the monsters. I do believe there's a boss inside the cave. Or the mine, sorry. Get rid of that frog straight away. Or toad, I bet it's called. Like poison toad, I bet it. it's actually cool. Okay. Getting some fluctuations in my FPS. Bit of latency is it's actually good. I never hear anyone use that word though. I think that's a proper technical term for lag. I think that's the thing that holds PCs back the most, is you have to constantly update your computer for the latest game, whereas with consoles, you only have to upgrade your console every five years, I suppose. Level up. Oh, was alright. Do we need like 20,000 points to the next level? Yeah, 22,000. The sooner we get started, the sooner it will happen. I guess most of you would have already turned off the video. I wouldn't have blamed you, I really wouldn't. Because all I do is level up to 23 and then go to the mine. We won't actually do the mine this episode, I, I will just alliterate because this isn't the main video, this is the bonus leveling video. Actually called yeah, giant toad. Okay. Don't know why I had to think there. Four hundred. Just under yeah. If we had two hundred experience per battle, I know we don't. I guess on average we get three hundred. Okay, let's go with that. Three hundred experience. Uh, how long that would that take to get to let's say? 100 battles for 30,000. So I suppose we need about 20 battles? No, 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 no. 75 battles? About. I suppose that isn't that many. Kind of is, I guess. Almost under 20,000. Mm. Alright, so almost been an hour. I might do another Minecraft world, tell you what's going through my head, but instead of doing it week on the weekdays, I have it once a week, so I have two uh, videos a day, week daily, hmm. yeah, you might see a Minecraft video this Saturday or Sunday, probably Saturday. 
anyway, the two one of the mod packs that I have because I have the Technic one, so it includes a load of mod packs. Or maybe make my own mod pack. Might be an idea. Although I'll probably just keep it to hardcore. Just make the episodes a bit longer. Although then again... The whole point of hardcore is that you didn't know which episode I was going to die in. So having one week an episode of 10 minutes would be like... A bit annoying, wouldn't it? Yeah, so it makes sense. Mm, something I'm going to have to think about during the week. Because it's... I'm actually going to go straight from recording this to post-processing it and, and then straight into uploading it. And so I played Mystic Quest before Oblivion because I just want to basically. I do all the I do them in chronological order as so I upload them from now on. Before it was Minecraft first because it just was. I bet we're nowhere near 10,000, are we? Hey, we're missing a lot. I think that's the first time we've actually got hit. Since we started to level up. Hmm. This video is going to be so long. All the leveling videos will be, won't they? Those scorpions. What are these called? Edgehogs, ain't they? Yeah. At least it's more relaxing than it was last time, because last time it was just... It did really feel like grinding. In every sense of the word. Except for that sense. And stop thinking that. I know what you're thinking. And don't. Mm. Thinking about it, why does it call it grinding? And not the other thing. Get that out of your mind, you dirty people. Yeah. Leveling. I can't think of an explanation, really. It's probably obvious and I'm just it's probably going over my head but still. Hmm. I wonder what the first game was to use the term level. That would it have been a game? thinking about it, you could say level of experience and that would be an everyday term rather than just gaming. If 
If I was Jimmy and Ruben, I would be so bored right now. Not bored, but tired at the very least, because think about it, they haven't had any matches. Whoops. Oh well. Critical hit. They haven't had anything to eat since the... Uh... Oh well, Jimmy hasn't since the game started. Uh, I know I keep checking it, but that's just because what I do. If you've gotten this far in the Let's Play, you obviously know that I check it a lot. Blah blah blah. I don't know how you could miss. Strike first, okay, good, good. Be interested to see what level the next companion's at. I have a feeling it's 31, but it wouldn't hold me to that. Oh, aren't you just looking forward to the next leveling video? I suppose we're relatively close. I mean, if there's any games that you want me to let's play, even if I have played them before, always tell me in any of the videos, or send me a message. Strike first, okay, go ahead. Trust me, getting a message about something along the lines of, hey, would you play such and such game? Instead of the who's or messages of Hey, do you want to buy a subscriber? It's just like, no, thank you. the enemy. Kill that to Jimmy. Thank uh you. -huh. 
that. Whoops. Did we miss? Oh well. Okay, with this enemy we'll be under twen twenty no under ten thousand. Okay, we're under ten thousand experience points to go. Really shouldn't take us that long now. I mean, we get about a thousand per per every time we go in. So we need to go in about ten times, I suppose. Or in and out. That was about 600 so far. Probably hear me button mashing there. I didn't see how many points that was. Oh well. Yeah, this really isn't going to take much longer. Strike first, okay. Even though we get it almost every battle now. In fact, we probably do get it every battle. See? Do scorpions really have pincers? I don't actually know. I think they do a fall out. Almost done. By this time, if I was doing it on my own, I'd probably have muted the game's audio and put some of my own music on. No, I won't do that, not even for these videos. The only time I do that is during Minecraft or games which allow you to have custom audio like The Elder Scrolls or uh, I suppose Grand Theft Auto. Don't know whether I'd do a Grand Theft Auto. I want to, kinda. But I don't know whether I could actually complete it. Or at least complete it good enough. Because I'm not brilliant at that game. Especially during... Like, racing missions. Car missions. I think we have to go through the focus tower, don't we? I can't actually remember where the Gemini Crest teleporter was. I have a feeling I know where it is. And I will check on my way back to Fyra. Or however you pronounce it.
Oh, we missed. So we can't miss now. <laughs> well, we can, but I didn't want to. 11 damage. Wow. Good thing weapons don't have durability. See, not too far to go now. Only 5,000. And less than 5,000 once we defeat this one. A lot of Civilization 3 recently. That's a good game. Well, I did want to record an episode, but I can't seem to get my recorder working with it exactly. Although I do have a new recorder which I might try out. Be worth a shot. The way I want to structure my channel is do maybe on the weekends one serious game and one silly game. At the moment it's Flash Games and Max Payne. And during the weekday just do I guess whatever I feel like I suppose. But the weekends are more for games that have levels rather than constantly flowing, like Max Payne is levels and chapters and stuff. Whereas this game and Oblivion, you just keep going until you finish the game. Or die, I suppose. We have died a couple of times during this let's play, which is a bit embarrassing. I'm saying how easy this game is. Lag spike, I think. Thankfully, this usually records at constant 60 FPS. I'm 
might have one retro game a week. Like as in, make one of my videos a retro game during the week, and the other one whatever I like. Like for example, at the moment it's Mystic Quest. Next week it could be a Game Boy game. Well, I say next week. I don't think we'll defeat this game in less than a week. Although we might. It's not terribly long this game. So five episodes, could we complete it? Or technically four really. No, I don't think we can actually. Well, it'll probably be done within two weeks. At this point, I guess I have to think about what I am going to do after this. Oh, we leveled. Good, good. See, so, yeah, that wasn't too bad. But now it'll be like 25,000 to the next level. Yeah. I'm, even though we don't really need it, I'm going to go into the inn anyway, in Aquaria. Now the Gemini uh, crest, isn't that in one of these temples? Uh, I don't think it's in this one. Is this Gemini? No, it wasn't. It's cure potions there. Oh, explosives. Yeah, I think it's in this one up here. Uh, let's have a look. Items. Well, I was right about it being this one. I think there's somewhere in Byro we get to. Actually, seeing as we got the crest in this video, let's go and get the treasure. Uh... I'm a little bit confused about which way to go. I have a feeling it is actually this way. Could be wrong. Okay. Funny how the fire door is actually pink, or purpley pink. You would have thought it'd be red, wouldn't you? Uh, I think we're going the right way. Yeah. I think it's a woman's house where we're going to for the Gemini crest. Just cure patients. What arrows? No cure patients, yeah. There we go. Oh, great, great. How do you pronounce this? Oh, it's Fireberg. Don't know where I got Fire from. Uh, this place? It's not. Okay, I was wrong then. in here. Ah, here we go. Where are we? Is this a... 
fly away in Aquaria. Okay, so at least we know we can get from Fireburg to Aquaria relatively quickly. I think that's all we need to do this video, so I will see you next video. And next we will take on the mine and try and I think clear the boulder. So until then, until then folks. See you next episode.